Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Well, we might take another route. There is plenty of holiday traveling over these next two weekends. It's imperative you stay safe. Shannon DePato and Kimberly Fleissner of Penn State Health join us with some tips. Of course, it is the holidays, time to really celebrate, enjoy the season with family and friends. But there are some things we need to worry about. Celebrations that can be dangerous, especially if you're driving. What can we do to stay safe? That's right, Amy. This time of year, uh, the roads are so busy. So um, now, uh, more than ever, we really want to be so careful. Um, and it's a good time to kind of check with ourselves some of those safety tips that we learned way back when we started driving. Yeah. Um, so first things first, always first and foremost, we want to wear our safety belts. And that goes for everybody in the car, uh, no matter what seat or um, what age uh, the people in your car are, they should always be buckled up. Very good. Second, particularly this uh, time of year, we want to remember uh, if you're going out for a party or going out to a celebration, plan yourself a safe way home. Um, for some people that really might mean asking a parent or a, uh, a family member, a friend to remain sober, um, not having any alcohol or drugs in their system sure. so that you can call upon them and feel safe about going home. Others, I would say there's um, apps that you can download to your mobile phones and that really makes it a simple process of just clicking a button um, to find your location and away home. Oh, very cool. Now, I mean, you talked about the, the drinking and driving issue, of course, a big issue. It's not just impaired driving, though. It's distracted driving. And of course, we're very distracted right now. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, cell phones are one one big issue. Oh, sure, absolutely. Cell phones are definitely an issue. Um, distractions can happen very easily. You may not even realize it that you are distracted yeah. because there are so many around you, whether it's the radio, it's other people on the roads, it is your cell phone. Um, you know, we want to have a cell phone for emergency purposes, of course, but tuck it away. Put it in your glove box. Put it in your trunk if you are that dis easily distracted. Certainly, that is one thing you can do to keep that away from you. For sure. Um, you know, it, and these distractions can happen, like I said, very easily. So we have to make sure that our focus is just on that roadway. It's checking our mirrors. It's making sure other passengers in our vehicle are safe as well. What about tips for younger drivers? What should they be thinking about? The younger drivers I particularly feel for because it's it's something rather new for them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just so important to remember some of the same tips that even that we follow um, after driving for a while. Um, keeping in mind, like Shannon said, with those distractions, just put them, put them away. Mm -hmm. Put your phones away. Put your makeup away, put everything away so that you can focus. And I really think about our parents too and remind them to please just be with your kids, talk to them about safe driving practices. This time of year we have inclement weather, so even go out and even after they have their license, go out and practice driving. Very good, so really good tips. Just basic practical tips to just remind ourselves this time of year because we're all so busy and everything feels so chaotic, but we can stick to the basics. Thank you so Absolutely. much for sharing it with us today. Thank you. We'll be right back with Mark's APA.